in this part we will deal with boolean algebra problems boolean algebra problems appeared in gate 1997 and 1998 exam let's move to the first problem the boolean function a or b and c is a reduced form of we have the minimized function and we have to calculate the original function the minimized function the mini minimized function is equal to a or b and c this is given in the problem and by using the boolean algebra i will try to find out the original function i will use distributive law distributive law of boolean algebra and uh, it says it says if we have x or y and z then we can write it as x or y and x or z i will use this a or b and c can be written as a or b and a or c and if you see the four options you will find option b is the correct option we have used distributive law to minimize this original function and the obtained result is a or b and c this is very important law and there are some shortcuts that we can obtain by using the distributive law the first shortcut is a complement or a and b we can directly write it as a complement or b we can neglect this a the second shortcut is the second shortcut is a or a complement and b then we can write it as a or b by neglecting this a complement if you use the distributive law you can easily prove them i will prove the first shortcut a complement or a and b by using the distributive law i have a complement or a and a complement or b a complement or a is one so we have one and a complement or b and this is equal to a complement a complement or b the shortcuts are very handy sometimes in exam so please write it somewhere now we will move to the second problem in this lecture the second problem appeared in gate 1998 exam in this problem we have to find out dual form for the given function and if you remember the dual form lecture i told you dual form is used to convert the positive logic to negative logic and negative logic to the positive logic let me write this down we use dual form to convert positive logic to negative logic and we also use dual form to convert negative logic to positive logic now what are the steps involved in calculation of dual form the first thing that we have to do is to replace and operator with or operator and or operator with and operator the second thing is to replace zero with one and one with zero the third and the most important point is to keep all the variables as it is the variables variables will remain same and the given function in the problem is a and b or a complement and c or b and c equals to a complement and b a and c i will follow these three steps and try to find out the dual form a and b i will keep a b as it is so we have a this and operator will now change to or b will remain the same this or operator will now change to and a complement or c and operator change to or in the same way we have and b or c i will do the same thing for the right hand side a complement or b and a or c let's try to match the correct option option a is the correct option for the second problem and this is all for this lecture in the next lecture we will deal with boolean algebra problems appeared in gate 1999 to gate 2003 paper so see you in the next one